Hey beautiful people, I'm Amy with Just Do Me and I'm back with a Love Island kind of video but this is very general to women when it comes to dealing with men like Curtis. Men who will basically promise you the world and then actually deliver McDonald's. Like it just doesn't match up. Last night we saw Curtis pretty much end things with Amy after he had pretty much cheated on their half girlfriend half boyfriend status like a week ago none of the, us would have seen this coming he was pretty much professing how much he cared about her in every recoupling session like they seemed so solid so into each other and you know it's really hard to pinpoint where things went wrong but i think there are definitely lessons that all women can learn from how amy moved she Nah, Amy, she let herself down, I'm not gonna lie. I know she's her heart's breaking right now, so like all my love out to Amy, it's not a nice situation to be in, but we can definitely talk about where she went wrong and definitely as well pick apart my man and Curtis's behaviour. Who saw that coming? Who saw that coming? Like one minute, Curtis is talking to Tommy about how he's gonna fix things with Amy. Next minute, he's actually just ending it and saying to her he can't promise that he wouldn't go after another girl again like if you guys enjoyed this video do not forget to subscribe before you leave it definitely seemed like curtis didn't really know what he wanted over the last week his head was all over the place he was being quite vocal about the fact that although he did like amy he didn't know why he didn't really want to commit fully or really didn't want to you know maybe take things further he was just about to ask her to be his full girlfriend transition from half girlfriend to full girlfriend but there was obviously stopping something stopping him he didn't know what that was the truth is a lot of times men don't know what they want let's be honest they don't know what they want you know at the start it's all hunky dory while you're getting to know each other and then after a while it's like whoa things are getting a little bit serious you know like especially around the three month mark and that's kind of like where they him and amy were in their relationship as well that moment where you either take things to the next level or you call it off and i think he definitely got cold feet it seemed very very serious in a very short space of time my problem with amy is if a man doesn't know what he wants you need to go don't offer to stick around and help him figure it out women always feel like oh well i can show him that i'm what he wants i can be everything he needs i'll show him i'm good a good woman i'll show him i can take care of him yada 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 we think if we cook more for them if we're more understanding if we buy them clothes if we do this give them better sex you know this will keep the man who's not quite sure who's got one foot in one foot out no sis if a man doesn't know what he wants you need to leave him completely and he needs to go figure that out somewhere else because if he knows he wants you, when he knows he wants you, he will come back and then it's up to you whether or not you decide to stay. But if he decides he doesn't want you, you've not been waiting around, hanging around, you've not been trying to convince him, wasting your precious time, you've been out there living your life doing you. And I feel like that's a big mistake where Amy went wrong because one minute Curtis is trying to, you know, win her back because he made the mistake. But I think when she said, you know, I'm not saying that, you know, I want to end things with you. I just need time to figure it out. I'm like, sis, you should have ended things. I think once he saw that even after his bad behavior, she still was holding on and wasn't willing to let go. I think that was when it was a wrap for him. That's when he realized, nah, nah, this probably isn't what I want. So if a guy is acting like he's not sure if he wants you, that's cool leave him be let him go figure out keep doing you don't hang around don't keep waiting don't try and convince him go ahead and just do you boo second le lesson that we can learn for curtis and amy is that actions speak louder than words as i said already before curtis promised amy a ferrari and then he pulled up in a fiat like wow all of us were convinced 
that like those two were going to make it to the end that like they were going to be a legit thing outside the villa he was always talking about how he could see their futures together amy was out there you know planning baby names picking out their you know little bits for their wedding like she believed everything curtis was saying to her and i'm sorry because as women we tend to do this but the truth is often men don't really know what they want and they can change their mind like that his words don't believe it don't believe it you know i'm not saying he's lying because a lot of the times when they're saying the stuff to you they really think they mean it they really think they mean it and sometimes as well they're just saying it to get whatever it is they want out of you don't believe the words believe the actions she even said it to him last night i don't think you like me or were ever attracted to me because when we get into bed you just say night and you turn over if a guy isn't like wanting to be around you wanting to hug you kiss you you know and like just wanting to touch you like mate he sees you as a friend he sees you as a friend and we've all heard Curtis to say that he's not really attracted to amy and i think the signs were there in his actions and the way he was behaving with her if she had looked at those actions as opposed to the words that were coming out of his mouth she would have caught on that actually something isn't really right it's only when she started speaking to the other girls and she started comparing hers and curtis's situation and seeing what the other boys like tommy was like around molly that she really realized actually yeah there is something missing he doesn't want to be around me the way you guys as boys want to be around you he's not constantly kissing me. he's not constantly touching me they were pretty much really good friends and she didn't realize it because he was chatting so much uh you know boys are terrible at this and i feel like women we need to wise up because they will say whatever it is they need to say a lot of times they don't have the strength to just break up with you they don't want the confrontation they'd rather keep you sweet and liking them so i do give ratings to curtis for finally just ending things with amy last night instead of stringing her along but i feel like he should have done it a lot sooner or at least not promised her as much as he promised her with his words if you really weren't 1000 percent sure third lesson as women that we can learn from curtis and amy is if a guy is all over you when you're together but absolute radio silence when you're not with him you need to be worried and i know in curtis and amy's situation is tricky because curtis had no way of contacting amy when they went into casa amor but we could see by his behavior that once amy was out of sight she was pretty much out of mind he was ready to crack on with other girls and in real life this happens a lot when you and your guy are together he's so attentive but once he goes home or whatever you can't reach him he's not replying your text messages you might not hear from him for another two days at the week Weekend, don't even bother my guy is living his best life that should tell you something ladies if he's not checking for you when he's not with you he's simply just not checking for you there's somebody else that is occupying his time and i know it's super confusing because when he's with you he's there he's present he's all over you but you can't figure it out does he like me does he not like me sis he doesn't like you because a guy who really really does like you and really really does want something with you and wants a future with you when you're out of sight you are still on his mind that's what you saw from tommy and molly may even though tommy was out molly was outside for tommy he had his eyes firmly on that prize so if you're not hearing from your guy for the whole weekend he's out there doing bits sis time to move on or time to at least just understand what the situation is and keep it casual don't expect something serious from a guy who doesn't text you doesn't call you isn't interested in knowing what's going on in your life he's not interested boo he's just not that into you fourth lesson that we can learn and i think this is such an important lesson in life nobody wants somebody that needs them none of us whether you're a man you're a woman very very little a very little percentage want someone that needs them it tends to be narcissists that want somebody that all about them the rest of us normal people want people that want us but don't need us when you need somebody it's quite scary and you will scare them let's be honest when amy was breaking down saying like she doesn't know what she's gonna do because curtis was her future and now she has nothing i literally wanted to reach into the screen and shake the girl no man should ever 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 be your future sis you are your future 
simple simple Curtis if she had kept Curtis in the zone of I really like you I really want to feature with you I really want you around in the picture but don't get it twisted darling if you f up I don't need you I'm doing just fine without you trust me he would not have moved the way he moved but the fact that he had no no worries whatsoever that he was what she wanted what she needed he had nothing to be concerned about no fears like it's quite boring let's be honest a lot of us are like oh like he's not going anywhere and you start to take that person for granted you know if you're that person in a relationship you want to spend all your time with your other half after a while they're going to realize that actually you're kind of all they've got going for themselves and that's very unattractive to most of us you need to have your own life you need to keep your friends in the picture don't be one of those ones that gets in a relationship ch chucks all her friends away and everything goes into the man no he needs to see that like if he's out with his boys this weekend you've got friends that you can call and be out with the girls he needs to have that little bit of worry that, oh, if I'm not texting her, she's got other options out there. And Amy pretty much always acted like she had no other options, like no man would ever find her attractive. She kind of always belittled herself. And that's not attractive because it starts to make the person feel like, oh, what am I doing with you then? If nobody else wants you, why should I want you? You know? That's just such an important thing. It's okay to want someone, but you should never need to have them. You should be able to be fine by yourself. And I think she got lost in Curtis's source. And I think that was very off-putting. It's very off-putting for all of us, whether you're a man or a woman. Fifth lesson that we can learn from Curtis and Amy. Very simple, very straight up. A man who is not willing to fight for you doesn't want you. Curtis cheated on her. He didn't even want, no interest in whatsoever in working it out or making it work, nothing. And Amy was still there trying to be like, yeah, we can work things out. You sleep on the day bed. I'm not saying things are over, blah, da, yada, yada, okay? If a man isn't willing to fight for you, you need to end it completely and see how he moves then because his actions will speak far more than his words. Oh, I'm really sorry. I didn't mean it end it and see if he fights for you a man who's not willing to fight once he's lost something that's precious to him you were never precious baby i'm sorry you were never precious you know a guy who wants you will fight for you and i've seen it like you know when you say like oh you know sometimes it's like oh well he's not calling me he's too proud he's too stubborn he's da -da 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 -da, i'll call him whatever no if a guy really likes you he will call you a guy really likes you he will chase you a guy really likes you and he's busy he will move things around and find a way to be there for you it's facts it's how we all are ask yourself what you're willing to do for a guy you really like and ask yourself is he willing to do the same for you do not cross oceans for somebody who will not jump over a puddle for you okay ask yourself look how crazy i'm acting look how into him i am is he showing me the same level of like intensity and like respect no he's just not that into you sis you need to move on sixth lesson People change their minds just like that. And it is a very like similar to what I said as well before, actions speak louder than words. But even with your actions, a man can change his mind, a woman can change her mind just like that. And you need to realize it. You need to be prepared for it because just ask Michael, just ask Michael what has gone wrong with him and Amber. It happens and don't try and rationalize it. Don't try and like, you know, oh no, but we've been so good. Like he's been so great. But about don't start looking at the past to justify what's now going wrong in the present. You know, the past was great, but the past is the past. Where he currently is at is where he intends to be. If he's moving shaky, he's moving mad, acting like he doesn't like you now, don't start like remembering all the good times and hanging on to that. No, a man can change his mind like that and you need to be ready for it and you need to be ready to keep it moving. Seventh and final lesson that we can learn from Curtis and Amy is never be scared to leave somebody just because you love them never be scared to leave if a man is disrespecting you he is cheating on you he is just not doing what he needs to be doing to make you happy 
do not be scared to leave do not think oh i won't find somebody better oh nobody will want me and i feel like these are all things that amy was thinking like this is my chance at love you know i won't find a guy as good looking as curtis or as successful as curtis or a man who will want me he's my first boyfriend yada 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 never be scared there is always somebody out there that is better looking smarter more attentive and you need to go find him you know what if you stay in a useless situation when the right guy was literally just around the corner you're never going to meet him because your head is going to be stuck in that negative situation don't be scared it's actually far better to be alone than to be with someone who doesn't love you and doesn't treat you right love yourself enough to leave love yourself enough to leave i really hope amy finds strength in this like curtis has done her wrong and honestly i think the best thing she can do now is just leave the show because she's not going to bounce back the way lucy did she had genuine feelings for curtis she seems heartbroken and devastated and i think she's going to need time to heal she shouldn't stay in there and try and fight for curtis there's nobody who's going to come in really and going to be able to fix her broken heart in like the next four weeks she's going to take time for herself and do her oh actually one more point once it's over once your heart is broken yada 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 stay busy do not stay in bed crying do not wallow in your self-pity do not you know stay in any situations where they're constantly going to be in your zone and you're going to constantly be reminded of the heartbreak you're suffering that's why i feel like she has to go she doesn't need to be seeing curtis every single day she needs to go and move on with her life keep busy in that house they've got nothing to do but think about how heartbroken she really is stay busy keep your mind focused get out there find somebody new and keep doing you i mean me just me if you enjoyed this video make sure you subscribe and yes i will be coming back to you guys with more dating tips love life advice because your girl has been <laughs> through it all and she can definitely share some tips i'll catch you guys in the next one all the best of luck hugs kisses and love to amy for every girl that's ever been through this where a man has like literally just lied to you and like girl we're wishing you nothing but good fortune success and a fitter finer richer sexier man to sweep you off your feet